Okay, hello everyone. How are we all? Uh, let's make sure uh, that you can hear me okay. If you can just put it in the chat, that'd be great. And then we'll get going. Thank you, Holly. It's very kind of you. And Daryl Cook. Lovely. And everyone else. So then, let's get going. Uh, today is Friday, the 28th of October. And here is the recap of uh, yesterday's webinar that we had with Ash Mufara and the team in Dubai and the team also in Hyderabad as well. So before I go into the uh, recap, for me, and this is my honest personal opinion, for me, it was the best webinar that I've been in onto for the last four and a half years or so. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because if you remember the last couple of weeks, I've been saying to you all, I've felt a change. I've felt a shift in the kind of feel and direction we are taking as far as a company is concerned to be much more business-like you know, to be uh, much more professional in what we are doing, to give that right impression of what we are trying to achieve as a business. And last night just really did epitomize exactly what I was thinking and the direction that we are taking. If you thought we had a business on our hands before last night's webinar, then you need to think again. We are now world beaters without a shadow of a doubt with what we saw last night with the team in uh, Dubai, with the team in India, what they showed us, absolutely world-class, world-beating what they have got in store for the company and us, the founders. So if you are not excited, guys, if you are not pinching yourselves and thanking your lucky stars that you are a founder of this business, then really, there really is no hope for you at all because you're never, ever, ever going to be satisfied with any business that you come across. If you are not into on passive, if you are not excited by what is happening now, right now in on passive, then really is no hope for you at all. I thank my lucky stars that I came across this business nearly four and a half years ago. And I am really looking forward to seeing where this goes from here on in. I mean, blown away doesn't even come close to it. It really, really doesn't. And this is because of We've been very used to seeing and listening to our CEO and te him telling us or alluding to things that he can't yet tell us. And obviously seeing Hyderabad and some of the back office stuff which has been going on there. But the introduction of the O Media team in Dubai absolutely game over for me about what they are going to be doing on our behalf. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into uh, uh, the recap. Uh, before I start, massive thank you to the guys behind the scenes who put these recaps together for us. They are up in our back office under the update section, along with Marty has put the uh, recording as well. So if you missed it live or couldn't get on because it was maxed out, uh, go and have a listen, guys, because you will not be disappointed. Uh, Vanna Polsarova, thank you so much for your super sticker. Very, very kind. So uh, the people who put this together was Peter Saru, uh, Dan Street, Janet Butler and Daryl Cook. Thank you, guys, for your tireless work putting these uh, written notes together for us the founders and makes my life a whole lot easier uh, that's for sure if i can got some notes to go off so let's get going and ash mufara came on and he said my name is ash mufara and i do believe i was born to make a global impact that will affect your life and improve humanity he said i make no apologies uh randall harris thank you for your super sticker he said i'm apologize for zoom 
Uh, it really isn't behaving itself. And we saw this yesterday. And he was actually telling us that when he's having even a one-on-one -on -one with Omar, his son, it plays up. Uh, and it really is not meeting its obligations for the price that they are charging for the platform. Uh, but he did see, say that uh, uh, not much longer now uh, until we can use our own platform. We are going to speak with you first from uh, Dubai, he said, and then the teams. Uh, they are very busy all over the place. Very little sleep at the moment, he said. But we are in the stage of the early symptoms and signs of giving birth. You know, when you get that birth pain, you know, it all becomes a little bit overwhelming. Uh, but we are we are growing and we are touching much higher grounds and pushing forward. You know, these guys are working tirelessly on for us on our behalf. It's not just about a job to them. They want to do the best that they can possibly uh, get. This is the real impression I got from the team in uh, Dubai. When all of the guys there spoke, you really felt that they have been almost given this mantle of uh, freedom of what they want to do, what they want to express, and they want to showcase what they can do, not only to us, the foundership, but also to the rest of the world. And I absolutely loved it. Uh, so he said, there is no ascending without extra effort and our success ladder is designed to all walks of life, for everybody to win and to succeed. He said, if you decide to ride with us, you will succeed. But he also did say, you do have to take your hands out of your pockets. Yes, it is a fully automated system. But if you want to win, if you want to win big, then you have to put a little bit of effort and work in yourself as well. He said that Dubai had an event today and they're going to share with us some of the things that they talked about. And he said this meeting uh, was with O Media. Now, we'd obviously heard uh, the, over the last couple of weeks about this new department called O Media. We had no uh we, we weren't told anything about what it was going to be. Ernest Martinez, thank you for your super sticker, sir. Uh, today, or last night, sorry, we got the full lowdown on what O Media is going to be. O Media, oh my God. It, <laughs> these guys, super intelligent, PhDs all over the place, very knowledgeable. I was extremely, extremely impressed. And these guys are working behind the scenes on our behalf, blown away. He said, once we go have the update from Dubai, we're then going to go over to Hyderabad. We're going to have a, a live demo, look at the OBS back office. Uh, and we will talk about a couple of the applications that we never talked about before, which is going to be O-Trim and O-Net. These are two of our free products uh, that we will be rolling out in phase one. So we're just about to soon to reveal the best web conferencing service to the internet. Now we have had sneak previews before, haven't we, of Oconnect, what it's gonna do and all the rest of it. He said, but we now are almost there. A few more bits and pieces to tidy up, but as far as Oconnect is concerned for phase one, we are just about there. The founders first will have access to it and they will sign up with the terms and conditions that they are going to go over. Make This is the work that's going to be happening uh, in the next coming days. The T's and C's of the products uh, need to be finalised uh, with the legal teams, etc. Uh, Anthony Abetti, thank you for your super sticker. It's very, very kind of you. So that's what's going to be going on going forward. Uh, lots of other things as well, but that's one, definitely one of the things that Ash mentioned that the terms and conditions uh, for the products are going to be going, they're going to be going over them. And obviously, as we've seen already within our O Founders back office, if you want to use a product, then you have to sign the T's and C's uh, for it, okay, to make sure that they are happy or you are happy to uh, adhere to what is expected from you as a founder. 
So he said, I shared uh, the website as well from yesterday. If you didn't have a chance to go and have a look at it, you can have a look at it. Uh, or you can't look at it today because guess what happens on a Friday? Yeah, it's changed. We have a new one there at the moment. Link 86, I believe, now is in our back office. I personally haven't had a look at it because I've been traveling today down to Woolacombe with the grandkids. And as you can see, if you normally know where I am, uh, then I've got a different backdrop. Uh, Satya, thank you for your super sticker. So Ash introduced the O Media team and the head of the media department, uh, Dr. Soha. Now, I am purposely not giving the surnames to these people. Why? Uh, because we... <laughs> We don't want to expose them too much. Uh, obviously, they have social media accounts, etc., and we want to keep that part private. So we'll just be using uh, their first names uh, whilst we do this recap here. So Dr. Soba, Soha, uh, she's recently joined the On Passive team, uh, and she is the head of communications. But she actually is really is so much more than just the head of communications um she's got over 25 years of experience very knowledgeable within the communicational services for many other people as well and she is going to be a fantastic front man as far as the o media uh, department is uh, concerned she came on she said we are all on passivians uh, even the Teams behind the background are picking up the on passive terminology now, aren't they? So she is in the uh, um, the uh, offices in Dubai. Gary Ling Matthews, thank you for using your super sticker. And she shared with us a presentation uh, about uh, on the O Media had done for the breast cancer awareness that they are supporting in Dubai at the moment. This is why Wednesday's web page uh, from on passive had a pink feel white and pink feel this is in support of the o media center in dubai uh for that she went on to say that uh, engineer mohammed kamal and many of the team in dubai have uh, given kind words of encouragement and inspiration of the life ahead uh of the cancer awareness that they are uh raising money for and it was really good to see uh that is going to be available, okay, as well. Uh, it was shown to us many languages. People came on and said words, and it was all translated. Absolutely fantastic. Thomas Davis, thank you so much for your uh, uh, um, super sticker. So Ash said, absolutely amazing. Uh, they dedicated it for the awareness of breast cancer. That was link number uh, 84. So it must be 85 today's. And he thanked, Ash thanked everyone who helped to uh, get a more awareness of breast cancer as well. Uh, Susan, Doc, Professor Suzanne, uh, she introduced us to the responsibilities of the OB, O Media department and their activities. O Media is in a, a in-house media department, but it's actually so much more than that. It's not just a media department, it's a business on its own. What they are going to be doing really is amazing. And I'm gonna run through all that in, in a moment. So they are gonna be uh, crossing many other medians and services uh, and external, not just to do with media, uh, outside that as well. So they are a global media uh, company. They're going to deal with corporate communications, event management platforms, training departments, content and creation, uh, product and design, overseeing corporate information, press releases as well. And they're going to communicate uh, competitor media so that they can always keep on top. This gives uh, on passive a much better awareness when they know what other companies are doing. They're going to communicate the future uh, as a slogan as well. Marketing ad campaigns, social media management, radio commercial, commercials, TV ads, web content development and creation. And that's just on the media part. They're also going to be dealing with videos, 
and content for O Academy training for us founders and for other people as well. This will include doing graphic designs in 3D and 4D illustration, plus animation uh, as well. All this is going to be taken care of by the O Media uh, Department in Dubai. Now, remember, this is a new department that's been set up. Like I said, it is a business in itself. That is the basis of how they are started. They have their heads of departments. What's going to happen now? We will employ more people to join Omedia, and that will expand out to a very, very large department that is going to really take care of not only our needs within on passive and the foundership, but also external businesses. They will be able to go to O Media and say, right, we want an ad campaign. We want it to run for this. We want to target this. All of these sort of things. This is all part and parcel of the external part of what O Media will be doing. They're also going to have their hands on uh, product activity. So uh, talent management and actors, short films, commercial product uh, productions, videography, uh, graphic and photography and media equipment, rental, even documentaries, TV productions, media planning and buying and gaming creation. Does that get the mind thinking? Remember back to one of the products that our CEO talked about, Oplay, that ties in with gaming creation. Zorica, thank you for your super sticker. Also, they are going to be taking charge of OnJoy. Remember, Ash told us about OnJoy the other day. It is dedicated platform for kids. It's going to include entertainment, education, plus a lot, lot more. Oh, women as well. This is a dedicated platform for women globally. Our, uh, our O Media Department are going to be taking that. Also, a new one. O University, they're going to be planning and launching a global online university. This is in progress at the moment. This is just stacking the call time and time again about what our CEO is trying to do. Olive Johnson, thank you for your Jones. Sorry, Olive Jones, thank you for your super sticker. Then uh, Professor Susan introduced her team. We've got the core guys here of the heads of departments, Dr. Omar, he is our brand manager. Dr. Soha, she's the corporate um, communications manager who we saw right at the beginning. Dr. Sarah, brand manager, she is. Dr. Ahmed, copyright guy, he's the one that does all the legal copyrights of the products that are going to be coming out, making sure they are tight and secure. We've got uh, Dr. Mohan uh, Mohammed. He was the guy. He's art and creative manager. I love this guy, by the way. Uh, he's the guy that is in charge or did all of that advertising on Burj Khalifa. Now, when our CEO turns around and says, you think I'm crazy? Now, this guy, he's crazy. He has some absolutely crazy ideas as far as being creative within the media uh, space is concerned. Some of his ideas are out there. Nobody else has these kinds of ideas. I love the way he spoke. I love his ideas of what he's got coming. It got me extremely excited. He was giving us little snippets about what is coming. Loved it. We got uh, um, Mr. Wissam as well. He is the PR and events organizer. He did that before and now he's doing it again with on passive. And then uh, Mr. Anas as well. He is the studio manager. So he's the guy who controls the floors when they are doing their videos, when they are doing all of that kind of uh, stuff. He's the guy who's in charge of all that as well. What a team they have put together so far in Dubai. I'm sure great things are going to come from the O Media Department. I cannot wait to see the videos that are coming out. Even 
if they are half as good of what we have had from corporate so far, as far as videos is concerned, I'm already blown away. That bar is high already compared to other stuff that we have seen. This is really is stacking the cool, guys. It really is. Like I said, if you thought we had a business before, this is blowing me away right now, knowing we have got these guys in the background working on our behalf. Absolutely amazing. This is not Mickey Mouse. This is the real deal. And I cannot emphasize that enough, guys. I really can. Cannot. Uh, so the team came on, introduced themselves with a brief intro with the roles and the missions to promote on passive to the global world. Ash noted that they will be in charge additionally in the content of the website and productions, marketing and tutorials and all in multiple language. Remember when Ash said to us, we will walk you through it. We will give you tutorial videos. We will give you give you the written things that you need to know about every single product and how you do every single thing. This is what Omedia are going to be doing so that we know exactly how these things work, exactly how to do everything. Uh, then Ash introduced our chief financial officer, a guy called Michael, a uh, UK guy actually with, uh, and from South Africa. He's the financial uh, director, officer, okay? He's been in the financial sector uh, for a very, very long time. He's working uh, for us alongside uh, Mohammed Kamal, and he gave us a bit of an update as well. And he will provide us with the global financial service, okay, with his team and provide support to protect the founders with the greatest security and compliance for us around the world, not only in fiat currency, but also in cryptocurrency. Absolutely music to my ears, knowing we have got one of the best financial directors working uh, with us now in Dubai, making sure that the part that needs to be secure is not only as secure as we can ever make it, but also the compliance side of it is going to be right up to date, which means that we have got uh, full uh, trust in what is happening. We don't have to worry about anything because we know everything has been sorted for us. Uh, so Ash also introduced us to Mohammed Nassal. He's the creative de director, the expert, remember, uh, I told you about. Uh, he is the chief marketing officer, uh, the guy who did the Burj Khalifa things. And he really was excited to meet us, uh, the founders. You know, when you hear these guys saying, yeah, we've been uh, following you guys since about May, listening to your videos, watching you on the screens and stuff. It makes it really a little bit surreal that, you know, these really intelligent top guys, they're watching us when, you know, I, I was blown away about it. I really was. He noted that we have a perfect strategy. Now, I love that. Ash has always said, we don't do anything by chance. Everything has been calculated. Now, Mohammed broke it right down to the very, very basics of they have a meeting for every single thing that goes on it's to make sure that they haven't missed anything, make sure it is fit for purpose and it does what they are doing. He said, we have massive plans for each product to ensure your minds receive the greatest impact for each uh, campaign. Now, remember, we are only using that word campaign at the moment because it's much much more than just a campaign guys we haven't really got a word for it at the moment but true as true is in non-passive i'm sure we will make up a uh, name to depict exactly what these campaigns are going he said what is coming is going to take you completely off limits it is no seat belt can handle the ride we are going to take you on and you will be very very proud of what we are going to achieve ash also noted he is impressed with what he has seen so far and he said i've never seen this before and if i have never seen it before that tells you 
how way out there it is. We are rewriting the rules of how marketing is done. It's entertaining, it's fun, and it brings joy to absolutely everybody. Ash mentioned that everybody, everyone we meet has their teams, uh, we met, has their teams and their talent of work will continue and this is going to expand in an abundant way. It's just the start, just the beginning of Omedia. This is all going to spread out. Remember, he's always said, the bigger the dream, the bigger the team. And the bigger the team, the bigger the dream. Ash told the team that on behalf of the founders, we thanked them and respected the work that they are doing. He had the honour to watch three videos today, Ash did, and these are going to be representative of the three campaigns. Uh, Sat uh, Satyan, thank you for your super sticker. Now, if you remember going back uh, when Ash was saying about the uh, World Cup, the, uh, the event in November that's coming up, we are uh, partnering Be In Sports for the advertising and what's happening in that campaign there. And we've, he told us we are breaking it down into three sections. He has seen the three videos that are going to accompany those three sections, all in 10 day blocks. So 30 days in total, 10, 10, 10. The first one or the first video or the first campaign, if you want to say it that way, is going to be all about brand awareness and the concept of what on passive is going to do the middle part the second video and campaign is going to be all about the free products that on passive have at the moment and it's going to showcase all of those within that campaign and then the last week or the last 10 days the last campaign and the video is seen this is all about the paid products that we will have available at that time. He said the quality and resolutions are extremely high. It's well above average for the global stage. We are finalizing the voiceovers for multiple languages. And also Dr. Sohar gave many wonderful words and thanks to Mohammed uh, Kamal for the and the entire media team. He said, we as founders will really, really be impressed. And she said, we are going to impress you. Now, music to my ears, that is, guys, really is. When you've got people like this, PhDs, uh, lecturers, professors, Ash has told us about this before, but here they are in front of us, telling us mere founders what they are going to do for us blown away he said ash's understatement he said there is so much more to go to come he is blown away about what is happening in o media now if ash is blown away just imagine what we are going to be like the team is highly qualified ethical all working in a unified way true on passiveians guys the team is very serious about what they do and we are at the moment attracting many many more people to join us uh, in the o media department he said these individuals all have their teams extremely talented the bigger the team the bigger the dream like i said uh, now the video that we saw uh, about the cancer awareness this is already available on the onpassive.com uh, not onpassive.com the onpassive uh, official YouTube time, uh, YouTube page. He said, remember, we are at the right place at the right time right now with on passive. He said that the videos, they are the best mainstream and TV quality that he has ever, ever seen. So we are getting closer and closer now, guys, to that November uh, event. So that was it then for Dubai. We then moved over and joined Hyderabad. And the IT guys that are over there and the team is working now 24 seven every single day. They've just had their Diwali a few days off and now they are back to it. They're working Saturdays and Sundays virtually round the clock just to get this ready to rock and roll 
for the 20th of November. Ash acknowledged, uh, happy to Wally to these guys. And he said, if you haven't seen it, check out the video uh, again. That's on the On Passive YouTube channel uh, and also on Passive.com. Uh, the Hyderabad... Uh, did the Hyderabad office did an intro and thanked the Dubai team and then they did a screen share and showed us the OBS which is the new on passive uh, dashboard he said all the tools are colored coordinated every single page this is to do with your subconscious guys this is to do with subconsciously knowing exactly where you are because the color theme then stays with that one product that you are looking at. And when you click off it, guess what happens? It changes to a different color and your brain goes, oh yeah, I must be here because it's a different color. It's all to do with the subconscious. So they uh, they did a demo of O-Net. Fantastic. This is a green theme. He said, each profile is completely safe and secure. Why? Because... They are real people. They have to be verified. I love the feel of it. I love the way it was um, laid out. There's going to be uh, the feel of how we kind of use social media now, but there's going to be uh, rooms as well. OK, there's going to be a gossip section. There's also uh, up to date stuff, stuff that's trending, recommendations, really, really cool stuff that's going on in Onet. And I can assure you, I wanted to start nosing around when I was watching it. When they were flicking around on the screen, I was intently watching it because it was extremely easy and visually inspiring on my eye. I can assure you guys, when people enter Onet as a free customer, because it is free, they are going to start nosing around. They are going to start looking everywhere because it kind of wants you to do that you get the feeling of i want to go exploring you know i want to do something but it has some such cool features as well uh he said you can post what's on your mind very easily it's got a unique posting this can be scheduled no other platform has this normally when you post on social media you do your, you do whatever you want to do click post and it goes up onto your uh, either onto your page or to a group or wherever it may be. With Onet, you can schedule it so that you want to say you wanted to uh, say happy birthday to somebody, happy anniversary, or you wanted to uh, uh, promote something but didn't start until a certain time or a date. You can schedule that so it comes up on the stream at the right date. No other platform has anything like that, guys. That alone will encourage people to use it. Now put into the equation, no adverts, no spamming. I mean, come on. I spend half my day when I'm on social media getting annoyed or hiding uh, adverts because it gets in the way. People are going to flock to this, I can assure you. It's going to sell itself. It's even got a gossip feature. You can post anonymously in there. Obviously, there is a filter for hate speech and all the rest of it, so they won't be able to do that, but you can still post anonymously your thoughts and feelings without being judged. And this could be uh, religion, politics, whatever you wanna do, it's not a problem, as long as you're using the right terminology. It's also got clubs and events so that you can invite like-minded people. You can create a uh, a room where people want to go to and it is allows a, an integration of people with like minded. It's going to be so, so cool. You can also integrate Onet with Oconnect as well and other products of the on passive ecosystem. The feature allows recommendations and trends and they will give to you as well. You can create a club, for instance, and add images to it, themes. You can make it public or private. Loads and loads of other stuff as well. Now, this one feature I'm going to tell you about now blew me away. You can create a blog from Onet within its system by a couple of clicks. It's all templated, drag and drop, fantastic. And then you can make your own blog that goes externally out of Onet 
to your very own blog site. I mean, come on. If that doesn't excite people, I don't know what will. And it's done from inside. A couple of clicks, off it goes. Amazing. Also, you've probably seen it because we've got it on O-Founders as well. You have a chat assistant, a VA, virtual assistant. Little bubble follows you around all over the place. It helps you with anything that you want to know within that web page that you are in, plus a lot, lot more. This in time will have a real person there behind it if it can't answer your questions. It's also got an editing bubble as well. That's there and you can use it to, uh, it takes you to new posts and no matter how deep you go within the platform, you can always uh, come back with it as well. Uh, we then had a demo of O-Trim. This is a blue theme and they went through what the benefits of O-Trim is. Again, a free application, even the one part that most other, in fact, they said all other trimming URL uh, products out there charge for, we're giving it away for free. This is customization, okay? That is all being given away for free to uh, the O-Trim uh, section. He then uh, started talking uh, a little bit uh, about uh, what is coming on. The many options for sharing onto social media and integration uh, with one click into Onet. Once you're in there, you can do whatever you want. He said, we are looking to be ready for the upcoming campaigns. He said, multiple products being featured and these will be part of that first campaign. He then said that Monday, which is the 31st of October, just coming up now. Okay, that is it for pending founders for everyone. Okay, that payment page is going to go uh, and that's it. No more pending founders Monday. That What time on Monday? We don't know, but it is going to be Monday. So if you are looking for one, go and find one for whoever's got it. Okay, but make sure it is paid before Monday. Uh, he said founders will always be given the first option to activate the first products. We're going to see the products first and we will be the first ones to activate these uh, products as well. So he said, make sure you're ready, make sure you're available. It really is the time now to make sure that you are on the ball as far as what is going on at the moment. A focus on the possibilities, guys. They are immense. The possibilities of what is in front of you are mind boggling. They really, really are. There's many moving parts behind the scenes, as we've seen. You might have to be patient with some of them, but I can tell you this now, everything is all coming together on time, on target, and we are certainly in the best possible shape of our lives. Uh, uh, Mohammed Kamal then came on, bit of housekeeping again. Guys, don't reach out to people within O Media, okay? It's a no-no if you do it. That'll be you gone. Bye, bye, bye. It's a big no-no. This includes many of the leaders as well, guys, not just uh, the workers. We all have very busy lives, okay? If you have a support problem, go to support, all right? He said, Ash said, be respectful and don't waste uh, the team's time. Let them do their work. He said, it's a privilege. He said, it's a privilege uh, to be on there, okay? Uh, but make sure that uh, you respect that privilege. And he said, if it does continue, then you will not be a founder anymore. He said, founders or will always get uh, the first use of the public uh, before the public do. Uh, he said this time and time again, this is a pre-launch advantage, okay, of you being a uh, a founder there at the moment. He said, we are coming up now uh, to a bit of a change. We're going to be moving forward. He said, the first step is going to be the free access to the OBS, the new dashboard. He said, then there's going to be another step after that. And that is going to be becoming a customer and then purchasing the products that are available. And then step three after that is 
becoming a reseller. Again, all of this information uh, we will be giving you. Uh, so don't worry about anything at the moment. Uh, everything will be told to you. We will walk you through it. We will tell you what's happening. Not a problem uh, about that as well. So I am extremely excited, guys, about what's happened. I, 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 I just can't believe that me, Red Redfern, is part of this business. I, I, I find it very hard to believe. You know, I've believed from day one uh, for what is happening. You know, hang on a minute. Let me just uh, get rid of some people. You know, I, I can't uh, I can't believe that uh, little old me is here. Uh, to be honest, as part as a founder in on passive, and I'm sure you guys all feel the same. Uh, that's it from me. I hope I've done it justice, guys. I really do. Please go and watch it. Uh, the the re the replay. I was blown away, and I tell you this: we maxed out before we started, and what did I note more than anything that I've never seen before? The number, the 20,000 who were on there, it didn't drop throughout the whole of the presentation. Until we'd finished the whole of the presentation, it didn't drop. Now, that tells one massive story. Andrew Colhan, Colhan, thank you for your super sticker. That tells a massive story, guys, when you have 20,000 people being captivated by the information that we were given by our CEO, by the O Media guys, by the Hyderabad office, that shows to me that we were all in the same mind frame. We were blown away by what we saw. I cannot wait to see where this is going. Honestly, you know when you and Ash says, when we get to the top, we're going to make a new top and a new top and keep on going. I tell you what, guys, what a journey this is going to be. I've said to you many times before, haven't I? You are going to get people coming up to you and saying what well, you are a founder of On Passive. And then you can start telling your story of this journey of how we have helped build On Passive to where it is and where it's going to be going. There's going to be films, there's going to be books, all sorts of things about so many people within On Passive. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen. I'm excited. I feel like a kid in a candy store. I really, it, it's affecting everything at the moment. Anyway, that's it for me. Now I am around, but not as much as I am. I'm down in uh, Woolacombe with the grandkids So and my two daughters are coming down tonight as well uh so we're going to have a good old family weekend uh thanks everyone for your support thanks for the super stickers for those of you that took the time to do that really really appreciate it and to all of my tea clubbers who are in green uh thanks very much as well uh chris is coming on now he's going to slot slot in i believe between me and marty and then marty at the top of our for his recap let's go over there and support these guys they always say things in a different way if uh, you don't understand what i've said you're certainly going to understand what these guys are going to say as well anyway that's it from me bye for now